So when you're getting started with life cycle stages, lead statuses, deal pipelines, we like to bring in an automation blueprint, which is really gonna help you see the whole landscape and understand how we're gonna pass leads between these different functions, how we're gonna use automation to make all of this happen. So we're gonna run through a couple of examples pretty quickly here. On the left-hand side, we've got our life cycle stages. Here in the middle in teal, we have our lead statuses. And then over here in the gold or orange, we have some of the automation that we're gonna bring into play. So in this example that we're looking at, a website visitor is gonna come and convert on a form, or we're gonna get a new trade show lead, and that person's gonna come in as a lead. We're gonna change their lead status to nurture, and we're gonna enroll them into a simple workflow that's gonna send them a couple emails with some great engaging content. If they uh, request a demo or they ask to talk to sales, we're gonna obviously mark them as qualified but we're also going to be trying to kind of tick up their lead score at this point. And if their lead score reaches uh, a threshold where we deem them qualified, we're going to change them to marketing qualified and then pass them over to sales. The sales team can either reject that lead and mark them unqualified, or they can accept it, at which point they're going to enroll them into an outreach sequence. We just have a couple calls, a couple emails. And then with the goal here is being that they're going to connect with this individual. Once they've connected, they can start working the deal. It'll change to in progress. And eventually, if we identify this is a real opportunity, we can create a deal. We'll change their life cycle stage to opportunity, and they'll continue moving through the pipelines here. So then we just have some pretty generic developing. The deal's developing. We have a quote request. The quote gets sent, and then we identify as a closed lost or a closed one deal. And finally, we've turned them into a happy customer. So this next example then, it's a little bit simplified. Um, in this case, we're going to be kind of reaching out from uh, more of like a mystery lead. So we have some people, we have some companies identified, but we're not quite sure if they're the right ones. So in this case, we're going to take our, our leads and we're going to move their lead status to attempting to contact. We have a pretty simple outreach sequence, call, email, call, email, call, email. We're going to run them through this. The whole idea is get connected and find out, is this the right person to be talking to? If we identify the right person, we find out there is a need. That's the trigger to pass them to the sales team here. And at that point, the sales team can begin working them. We'll have a new... Uh, new lead as their status um, that'll move to in progress and when they're ready for a quote we'll move them over to opportunity similar kind of deal stages here we have quote request quote sent closed one closed lost and again identifying and sealing happy customers this last example we're actually going to be skipping um, the the lead life cycle stage all together because in this case we're saying these are all people we already know to be marketing qualified there's a lot of organizations out there where people are entering all different stages of the funnel you might need a process that looks more like this because you're working with a, a finite group of people who you have deemed already qualified so in this case we already have our new mqls we have our lead statuses of new and we're going to engage them in a sequence. We're trying here just to upsell or you know get our products in front of somebody for the first time. Um, but again, these are known to be good leads, um, so we can kind of skip some of the qualifying features. If we connect with these people, we're going to then open a deal and move them to a new opportunity, new request, closed one, closed loss. So you can see like a lot of these have some similarities, um, but there are some significant differences as well. Coming up with a sales process that most closely aligns with what your organization has is key because otherwise you're taking steps that aren't really necessary or you're creating these uh, statuses that really just kind of sit. You really want something that reflects what are the actual actions that our customers are taking because that's going to give you the transparency and the data around where a deal is getting hung up or where can we be more efficient. And this blueprint also is available for download. Just click one of the links just below. Thanks.